Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to do an introduction for a new project. I am so excited about this one. This is Paranormal Pantivity, and it is a project created by Andrea over at Pretty as a Peacock. And it is all about like spooky things, paranormal things. And I love these types of projects. It is a prompt based project. Andrea came up with 31 prompts and it starts today. I'm hoping that I'm putting it up on the day that it starts, which is September 24th. And it goes for a year. So it ends on September 24th of next year. Did I mention this is a Fantastic Ladies Club project? If I didn't, it is. Andrea set this project up in two different ways. So you can either bring in six items at a time and set it up as a rolling style project, or you can roll in all the prompts at once. So as I mentioned, there are 31 prompts. I toyed with the idea of just starting with six and doing this roulette style, but I am a crazy person and I have just spent the last several hours picking all of my items. <sighs> I was like, I just want to roll a bunch of, I just want to roll all these in and work on them for a year. I'm crazy. So anyway, I'm, Ziggy, come here. Don't go in there. Go over here. And Andrea came up with some really, really fun prompts. I'm super excited. I had a little bit of trouble with some of them, but I went digging and, and because I did this kind of quickly and didn't put like a ton of thought into it, meaning I didn't spend like days thinking of like what the prompts were when I was going to roll in. I think I came up with like really good products to roll in. Like I was like, okay, I'm just going to do that one. And it wouldn't have been like things I wouldn't have normally picked, which is good because there are things I would need to work on. So anyway, let me share with you the item, the prompts, and the items I'm rolling in. I'm so excited. Yay! I'm going to leave all the information about this project down below. And if you've never watched Andrea, are you crazy? You should. Like, why wouldn't you? She, I'm going to leave her, her channel down below. She's amazing. I love her. Okay, let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to read the prompts. My iPad is over here. And I'm going to share with you the product I'm rolling in and then my goal for them. Most of these are, a lot of these, uh, I guess I should say, I think half of these are to finish and half of them are usage goals. But I didn't really count like like I said I just figured all the stuff out tonight <laughs> okay let me go ahead and get started the first prompt is poltergeist a product that gives you trouble hard to use faulty patching packaging etc I went with the hard to use category and I'm rolling in a liquid lipstick <laughs> I'm rolling in a product I have never used before but I've had this one a little while this is by Stila it's a stay all day liquid lipstick in the shade patina this is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Beautiful. I don't know why I've never used it. I mean, I think I, I should say I've used it once, I think, in my, when I was doing like the 365 days of lippies. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I'm going to set a goal of using this one 20 times. We'll see how I do. The next prompt is Doppelganger, a product you have a double or backup of. And I'm rolling in a foundation from Estee Lauder. This is the Futurist Hydro Rescue Moisturizing Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 45. So I have had this in a project before and I used half of it. So I want to finish this. This is in the shade one and two a crew. And I love this foundation. It's a beautiful hydrating foundation. I actually have two other tubes of this in other shades. I, ha I actually have the porcelain one out right now. It's kind of like my lightener uh, for a foundation that's kind of dark. And then I have buff as well. And yeah, so I love this foundation. It's so, so good. So I want to finish that one. Next prompt is White Lady, a product that's white or with white packaging. So I'm rolling in a lippy stick from ColourPop. This is the shade Baywatch, and I want to finish this one. This has this much left in it. This is a beautiful shade. I mean, I love it so much, but I've had it for a long time, so it needs to, it needs to be finished. So I will definitely mark this in my book and we'll work on getting this one done. Next prompt is Bloody Mary, a product with a mirror. 
So I'm rolling in a powder. This is by Maybelline. It's the Fit Me Matte and Por Poreless Powder in the shade number 120 Classic Ivory. So this is kind of a secret mirror. If you open the compact, it's here. There's the mirror. So I do want to finish this. I will probably use this to... Uh, I may use this on my face, but I may also use this to set my eyeshadow primer. So we'll see. But yeah, I do want to finish this. I don't really like pressed powders very much. Next prompt is Vanishing Hitchhiker, a product that disappears quickly. And so for me, that is typically eyeliners. So I'm rolling in a little mini eyeliner. This is by Makeup Forever. It's the Aqua XL Eye Pencil. So it's very old. I don't even think they make this one anymore. And it's just in the shade black. So I want to finish this one. Next prompt is Gremlin, a mini or deluxe size sample. So this one is a sample that I have never tried before. It is by By Beauty. So of course it's very old because they haven't had this one in a long time. I think this was a holiday release from a while ago. It's a prismatic multi, what was it? Multi stick <laughs> in rose pearl. And I actually have two of these. So I, I don't, know how I'm going to use this. I want to use this one 20 times. So I'm kind of testing this to see how I'm going to use it. This is an interesting product. I'm thinking I may use this as an eyeshadow base, like or lid base, kind of like how I would use a an eyeshadow stick. So that's how I'm thinking I may use this because I don't think I'm going to use this on my face like as a as a highlighter, but we'll see. So anyway, I'm gonna use this 20 times. So we'll see what we'll see what happens with that one. Mm. <laughs> Do you see Katsiki? I don't think I've ever seen him do that before. It's very late. He's like, what are you still doing in here? <laughs> oh, he's so funny. Hi. Next prompt is Screaming Skulls, a Halloween or scary themed product. So for me, like a go-to is Kat Von D and I've been wanting to use this lipstick shade for a long time. This is the uh, Study Kiss lipstick in the shade Lolita. And I, yeah, I I was just recently doing like a lipstick declutter video and like swatching and declutter video. And this shade, like I, I've had this forever and it's always one where I'm like, why have I not panned this yet? So I am not going to like pan this like where I use a quarter of the bullet, but I am, I do want to use this one 20 times. I'm kind of going easy on myself on the uh, some of the lip products in here. But that one, and that, there are some to finish, but that one I'm going to use for 20 times. 20 times. Okay, the next prompt is Banshee, a product you are close to finishing. So this is a lip product I do want to finish. This is by ColourPop as well. This is the Ultra Glossy Lip, I think that's what this one is, and Fairy Floss. So I had this in a project uh, last year, I want to say. I think it was last year. It may have been earlier this year. And I had rolled it into use 20 times. And I'm really close. You can see all the windowing in this one. So I'm really close. I have not taken the stopper out or anything. But I don't think it'll take me that long to finish. So there's the gloss there. It's a really easy shade to wear. So I do want to finish this one. Next prompt is Dibuk, Dibuk, D-Y-B-B-U-K, I'm sure I said that wrong. A product still in its box. And for that, I'm rolling in the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. I do still have this one in its box. And I actually have a couple of these. The reason why I kept this one in its box is because it's really hard to store otherwise because it comes like this. And I'm actually going to keep this box and put the other one that I have that's not in the box in this box. 
because otherwise they're like these it's just a pain in the ass to store so anyway i do want to finish this one of course this is comes with a little spatula which i don't know if i would use the spatula i may go ahead and start using this one because i do need an evening moisturizer that looks so hydrating smells like honey oh that looks so nice i cannot wait and i'm sure it has the spatula because of the way that the jar is pa the packaging anyway finish that next prompt is kelpie a product you use in the shower or bath so i'm rolling in a sugar scrub from tree hut this is the shea sugar scrub in passion fruit and guava i think this is one of my uh, probably the oldest shea sugar scrub from tree hut that i own in terms of the scent i don't remember when i purchased this but it's been a while so yeah i want to finish this one the scent is light but it's nice it's a nice scent so yeah i want to finish this one these typically don't take me too long to finish okay next prompt is boogie aka the boogeyman or bo well boogeyman a product you use at night so I'm rolling in a serum. This is by Bare Minerals, the Skin Longevity Vital Power Fusion Serum. And I don't think Bare Minerals, the Bare Minerals I know does not make this serum anymore. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce uh, bottle. So yeah, I want to finish this one. I really did like the serum when Bare Minerals had it. So yeah, I want to finish this one. Oh, I'm excited about the next one. The next prompt is Demon, a product that you were tempted into buying. So I picked this up during the, uh, I think the fall VIB so sale, was it the fall or the spring? Last year? I can't remember now. But this is a lipstick from Rose Ink. And I don't know what, I can't tell what the type of lipstick it is. But it's this is the packaging and the shade is Coquette. It came as a trio and these are actually refillable so there's the shade but yeah this is a refillable product so uh, here is the swatch it's gorgeous so I'm not going to force myself to use a quarter of this but I'm gonna use this one 20 times I am intrigued by this formula I have not used any of these yet so I didn't want to try out the formula so we'll see that it, how the how that is. So 20 uses. He is so cute. Next prompt is ectoplasm, a face mask. So I'm rolling in a product that I've been really interested in like using long term consistently. I bought this a while ago. This is by Glossier. It's the moisturizing moon mask. And I had heard this was a really nice hydrating face mask. And since we're going into like fall and winter where my skin gets really dry, this is going to be perfect. So yeah, I want to finish this one. I'm so excited. Next prompt is Ghost, a product with unfinished business, aka something you previously panned but did not hit your goal on. And this was inspired by Emily over at Emily and Max here on YouTube. And I'm rolling in a bronzer. Now, I did hit my goal on this, but I did not finish it. And I want to finish this. This is a bronzer by Too Faced. And it is the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is the, like a deluxe size sample of this. So here is the bronzer. So I do, I want to finish this. I want to finish it. I'm actually able to wear this now. So I have been using this and... We'll see how much longer I can wear it. Eventually, I will have to roll this out and move towards my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, but I'm going to use this as long as I can this year, and then we'll see. But eventually, I'll have to roll it out, but we'll see how long I can go. Hmm. Next prompt is Necromancy, a product you haven't used in a long time. So this is a lip product I haven't, like I think I've worn once or twice. This is by Sephora. It's their Lip Stories line. So here is the packaging. And this is the shade Festive. This is such a pretty, pretty shade. And I am rolling this one in to use a quarter of the bullet. This one has, this is an, this is an older lipstick. And it's very creamy, so I feel like I can hit that goal without it really being an issue. So yeah, 
quarter use on this one. I'm excited. Next prompt is Ouija board, a product with embossing or an imprint. So I'm rolling in a highlighter that's somewhat new, well, new to my collection. It's by Charlotte Tilbury, and it is the Pillow Talk Multi Glow Beautifying All Over Glow Highlighter. Now, one thing I'm gonna say, I was so devastated. I pulled this out of my drawer and I opened it up and it like had like kind of shattered. And I'll show you what I mean. So you can kind of tell that there's a little bit of um, like powder on the outside. So each of these pieces have like come out. I was able to press it back in. But yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> it, I mean, it literally had just gone from a bin into my drawer. I, I, I don't know. But anyway, there's the shade. It's so pretty. But I do want to use this one. What did I put? What goal did I put on this one? A lot of these are 20 use goals. So 20 uses on this one. I'm excited about this. Maybe a little bit light for me now, but How was your nap up there? Okay, I'll leave you alone. Next prompt is Urban Legend, a product that's too good to be true. I kind of didn't know what to bring in for this. So I'm bringing in a product that I've heard amazing reviews about. And I'm like, if it's as good as it's, everyone says it is, I'm like, okay. It can't be as good as everyone says it is. That's kind of what I'm going with. And it is a very pricey item. So we'll see. It is by Guerlain. It's the Lingerie Depot Natural Perfecting Foundation Skin, Infu Skin Fusion Texture with SPF, what, 20? I purchased this during the last VIB sale and I haven't tried it yet. So I want to try it. Since I'm working on finishing that Estee Lauder foundation, I just put a 20 use goal on this one. I just want to try it. Hopefully it's as good as everyone says it is. Next prompt is Orbs, a product that brings light to your face. So I am bringing in a product that's in a palette that I'm trying to finish. It is in this Hourglass palette. It is the Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4. So I am rolling in this strobe powder. It is, let's see... The strobe powder in Euphoric Strobe Light. Now it's kind of too light to be like a like a standard highlighter in my opinion. Like I feel like it kind of my strobe powders are they can be used as a highlighter. Like for for me for me like on those makeup no makeup days. Or they could be used almost like all over powders to highlight certain parts of your face. So that's how I may end up using it. So we'll see. But I, I just want to get some, what did I, I don't even know what I put on this. Uh, well, okay, I'm going to put a goal of finishing it, but I don't know if that's going to happen. We'll just see. I'm going to put a use to, goal to finish. We'll see. <laughs> Next prompt is Seance, a product you bought because someone else told you to or recommended it. So I heard people talking about these little eyeshadow little trios. And so I bought one and then two and then three. And I've never tried them. Like, what's wrong with me? And so I'm bringing one in and I'm bringing this little Kaja Bento Beauty Bentos. And this is in the shade Glowing Guava. And there's three little eyeshadows in here. So it has this shade. And I'll just, I'll swatch all three of these. And we have this shade. And the last one is this one. So I just want to use this guy five times. I just want to play with it. So there are the three three shades there. So yeah, we'll just play with it. See what, see what I think. Like I said, never played with these. And I have three or four of them five times 
The next prompt is Flying Dutchman, a product you're doomed to pan, which feels like forever. These types of pencils for your brows. By benefit, I have the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And this is the shade 4.5. These pencils that are like the teardrop shapes, they take, for, they take me forever. And yeah, so that's what that looks like. I just, it takes so long. So I want to finish this. I have, I think I have one more, this one, and then I have one more from Benefit and one more from ABH, and then I, they're done, I'm done with these like teardrop shapes, shaped pencils. Three more, and then I'll, and then all I have are like the regular pencils. I just, I need to, I need to get, it. and I think I looked at all of my, all of, a lot of my, brow pencils they're like really old so i'm not allowed to buy any pencils <laughs> brow pencils i need this is to finish next prompt is afterlife a product pats past its expiration date so i kind of was like well okay normally i would not have picked this product but i was like okay what is what products are old in my collection and those are my single eyeshadow a lot of my single eyeshadows and specifically MAC single eyeshadows. So I went with a matte MAC single eyeshadow. This is the shade, and I didn't, I don't know when I bought this. Tet a tint. It's this shade here. I went with a just simple matte shade that I can use every day in the crease. And I know it's going to take me forever to hit pan. That's my goal, is to hit pan. And I know it's going to take me all year to do that because these take forever to hit pan on. Hit pan. Next prompt is Black Dog, an animal themed product. The first thing I thought of is what I grabbed. And it is, it's still in its box packaging. It is <laughs> this little palette from Zisa. Zisa? I think that's how you say it. Zisa? I don't know. I bought this because it has a cat on it. That's the reason why I bought it. Bought this last holiday. I mean, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at those imprints. <laughs> so I just want to use this five times. Again, otherwise it's just going to sit here in my collection. I mean, I don't even know if it's going to do much on my eyes but like this little shimmer shade there we go that's much better anyway yeah i want to use this little guy cute <laughs> five times okay next prompt is oh gosh okay domovic household spirit in russian folklore a product that has followed you from house to house this was challenging for me because I have lived in my house for 18 years and like that was a long time ago since I was in another house. I mean, I was 20, wait, 28, 28, right? Yes, I was 28. I don't know how old I am. I can't count. I can't do math. I'm so tired. Anyway, it was a long time ago. And I mean, that was like way before I got like this much into makeup and skincare and everything. But what I did remember, I was like, okay, I was still, I was not into like Bath and Body Works, but there was one scent I was obsessed with. And I think I bought it back then. So I was like, okay, Bath and Body Works. And the one scent that that is, is Bath and Body Works Essential Amber. So I'm rolling in a shower gel in Sensual Amber. The scent notes on this one are golden amber, wild berries, orange flower, lotus petals, and creamy sandalwood. This smells so good. This is a discontinued scent, but I bought a ton the last time I saw it. I love this so much. Love it. So of course, rolling this in to finish. The next prompt is exorcism, and I don't know if you want out of your collection. Sorry, my words are starting. It's I'm tired. The item I'm bringing in is by Estee Lauder. It's the Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged Complex Synchronized Recovery Serum. 
This is a little deluxe size sample. Now, the reason why I want to get this out of my collection, I have several of these, like a lot of them. That's the first, first reason. Second reason is because when I got this, it, the cap was like slightly, or it had already kind of started to open and this is starting to dry out already. So I, I don't want to waste this. I want to use it. I can still use it even though it's a little bit congealy. I can still use it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this now before it gets any drier. And, you know, we're rolling into like the drier months of the year. So yeah, I want to finish this and get it out of my collection. Next prompt is haunting. Dupe a product that haunts you or pan a product you regret buying. So I regret buying this because I bought this at TJ Maxx and I didn't need to be buying any like shower gels or lotions at TJ Maxx because I already had so many. This is from the body shop. It is the almond shower gel. And to be honest, like, I don't think this price of $4.99 was that great when I bought it. Like it's a, it's not a very large size. You know what I mean? And like, that's why I regret buying it. I was like, why did I buy this? I'm, I know it smells good. It smells delightful, but like it was not a great price for this size. This is like 8.4 fluid ounces and it was not that great of a deal. Next prompt is Tommy Knocker, a spirit that lives and works in mines. And you're going to bring in a product named after metal or a metallic product, metallic eyeshadow, metallic packaging, etc. So I'm rolling in a metallic eyeshadow. This is from the brand Touch and Soul. It's the metallic sparkling foiled pigment. And I'm rolling in the shade Holo Mulberry. Oh my gosh, when these came out, I was obsessed with the shade. And of course I never used it, but this is so beautiful. Here's the shade. Oh my goodness. I'm running out of room here. Oh Lordy, it's gorgeous. So I want to use that one 20 times. <laughs> Cannot wait. Cannot wait. The next prompt is reincarnation, a product you have bought in the past that has updated packaging. So I'm rolling in another Bath and Body Works product that has updated this packaging. This is the updated packaging. It is the, uh, actually, not really. This is the essential amber and it's the triple moisture body cream they have now they have changed the name of this to the ultra shea something body cream so yeah they have actually updated the at least the name of this the packaging is still the same in terms of the tube but yeah they've changed the name oh my god it smells so good so this goes with the shower drop Next prompt is Revenant, an item that has come back into your collection, something you have repurchased. So I'm rolling in a mascara. I've been wanting to bring this, like, start using this again. This is by MAC. It's the Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. I love to use this on my bottom lashes, so it's happening. I have two of these in my collection, and I'm finally going to use it. I cannot wait. Love that mascara. Next prompt is Silkies, female spirits dressed in silk. And you are to bring in a product with a silky texture, like a powder, or something that leaves your skin feeling silky smooth. And it could be lotion, skincare, etc. I'm bringing in another body scrub because I feel like once you scrub your body, then it's like silky smooth, you know, after you put lotion on it. Leaves your skin ready for silky smoothness. So this is from the Bathing Garden. It's the Olive Lemon Grove Shea Oil Sugar Scrub. And it has that oil in there, which is fantastic. I love this brand's Sugar Scrub. And it's a, an indie brand, so I want to make sure I'm using these before they go bad. So yeah, we're going to use that one up. Super excited. The next to last prompt is Spirit, a nature-themed product. So I am rolling in. Where did it go? I'm rolling in a product from the brand Earth Harbor. This is the Marina Biome Brightening Ampule Spirulina in Blue Tansy Oil. And uh, Valerie talked about this in our Nightmare on Panning Street. She actually panned two of these in that project. She loved this. And I'm a huge fan of Blue Tansy, so I cannot wait to try this. I can't smell Blue Tansy. There it is. 
So yeah, I want to roll this in to finish. And the last prompt is Tower of London, a product that makes you lose your head either in delight or frustration. So I'm rolling in a product that makes me lose my head in delight. And that is by Bobby Brown. And it's the vitamin enriched face base, vitamin enriched face base. <laughs> I love this product. Now this one I have started using. <sighs> and that's my usage on this. I kind of feel like maybe I should bring in a brand new one, but it's okay. We'll just use this one until we finish it. I freaking love this stuff so much. It is a holy grail in like my everyday makeup routine. Holy grail. Love it. So I'm going to finish it. Yay. So those are the 31 prompts and products that I'm working on in this project. So, so, so excited. So thank you, Andrea, for coming up with such a fun project and prompts. And I cannot wait to get started on these items. If you're interested in joining this project, like I said, the information will be down below. The other folks who have joined in this project will also be included in the link down below as well. So check them out, check out their videos and their Instagram posts. So anyway, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all next time. Bye. You can do this project in two different ways. You can roll in six. Wait, did I meant? <laughs> Next prompt is Ghost, a product with unfinished business, aka something you previously pan but did not hit your goal on. Inspired by Emily and Matt. At Matt. No. <laughs> Next prompt is Seance, a product you brought. No. Hmm. Next prompt. <laughs> Next prompt is Haunting, a dupe of. Mm -mm. Okay, bye.